I'm starting my day out with a glass of water. I've been really trying to get in a gallon a day. It's been a little hard, but I've been able to do it. Um, I am going to take my vitamins first thing just because if I don't, I'll forget to take them. So I'm going to take my hair, skin, and nails. I'm also taking a multivitamin as well. I'm taking my chlorophyll gummies. And then I'm going to take a... Uh, probiotic for vaginal health make sure i take those every day you did see some vitamins on that shelf that i didn't grab i don't take everything every single day um, but these are the ones i do take every day Today's a rest day for me, so I didn't go to the gym this morning. I'm not that hungry yet, so I'm just gonna have some fresh juice that I made the day before. This is celery and cucumber juice. I made it fresh, and making juice has a lot of good qualities and benefits for you. So I'm just gonna have this first thing in the morning. Today for breakfast, I'm gonna have breakfast tacos. That sounded really good to me. I chopped up some red, yellow, and orange bell peppers and a little bit of jalapeno to put in the tacos. Um, I'm gonna cook the potatoes next and cook this with it. Um, and then the jalapenos I'll put on the top like once I get done cooking everything. I put the potatoes in a little ice bath to kind of kick some of that starchiness off so that they'll fry up nicely and now i'm just drying that off we're going to cook those next After the potatoes have been cooking for like five minutes, I'm gonna add in the peppers and I also cut up one of my chicken sausages to put in there as well. And I'm gonna cook that for a little bit. While that cooks, I'm gonna scramble the eggs and get that ready. And now it's time to put it all together. I'm only gonna have two. I could probably eat five of these, to be honest, but let's not be greedy. I'm gonna put the eggs on top and then I'm gonna add in some cheese as well. I'm gonna put the chopped jalapenos on here. And then um, after I do that, we're gonna add a little cilantro and salsa and that's it. These were so good and I have a little bit left over so I'm gonna have it for breakfast tomorrow too. Now it's a little bit later, I need to get some more protein in. I'm gonna make a protein coffee. Ever since I got this Nespresso, that's all I do. It's about two o'clock, I'm ready for lunch. I've been craving a kale and quinoa salad for like a week. I finally decided to make one. I'm gonna take the leftover um, peppers from breakfast and add them to my salad a little Greek dressing and then this is quinoa along with brown rice too so I heated up a package of this and I'm gonna put about half a cup in there mix it all together get the salad dressing all over everything and then I added a piece of salmon that I had left over I'm also gonna have my greens with my salad for lunch since I didn't have it for breakfast. Um, these help with bloating and digestion, super good for you. This is the yogurt that I'm using, 25 grams of protein in here. It has 170 calories, only eight grams of carbs. That's not bad at all. Um, I'm not a big fan of yogurt, but 
I'll force it down for 25 grams of protein. Well, I'm off work now and I'm about to make dinner. I haven't decided if I'm gonna eat dinner yet because I'm not really hungry, but the kids wanted burgers. So um, we're gonna do a little frozen beef patty and I'm gonna cook that on the stove and I'm gonna make them some potato wedges to go with it. Um, these are actually pretty good. I don't buy beef very often, so um, these are mainly for the kids. This does have 18 grams of protein. I might eat one. I might make one for myself and maybe eat it later, but I don't know. I'm not hungry. I'm going to cook these little potato wedges in the air fryer. So I cut them up relatively thin. So I'm going to cook these in the air fryer with um, some seasoning on there. I'm just going to use this and some garlic powder. We're gonna do garlic powder and then salt and pepper and keep it simple because the kids don't like a whole bunch of seasoning. I'm gonna drizzle a little olive oil on these before I pop them in the air fryer. I don't really know how long I should cook them. I've never made potato wedges in the air fryer before. So, oh my gosh, this is messy. We're just gonna see how this goes. Thankfully, the kids are forgiving if I mess up, so. They won't be mean if I, if it's nasty. All right, here's their dinner. They don't like a whole bunch of toppings on their burgers. They just want cheese and ketchup. So I made a little smiley face for them and um, hopefully they like the potato wedges. We'll see. I didn't eat dinner. I'm just not, I'm not hungry. Like the past couple weeks, my appetite has been off and I've been eating like once a day. I've been eating just all different times like out of, outside of my normal. So I'm trying to get back on track of like eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, maybe a snack or two, but I don't wanna force it if I'm not hungry. So I'm not going to force myself to eat, but I am going to have this glass of wine. Um, it's about 7.30 and I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. I had a long day. It was productive, but it was long. And so I'm just ready to like chill out for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed this, what I eat in a day. Um, I will be making more if you're interested and hopefully I get my appetite back so I can actually have all of my meals in a day because that will definitely get in the way of your goals. If you're not eating enough, um, I know I didn't hit my protein goal like I wanted to today because I didn't eat dinner. So that's just something I got to work on because we're trying to get shredded. We're trying to get more muscles. Okay, less flab, more muscle. Um, and I can't get that. I don't eat enough, which that's the hard part for me sometimes. But I'm just going to wind down for the night. And I will see you guys in my next video.